Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Did you know that the name Miyagi from the Karate Kid and Cobra Kai is based on a real karate master? Goju Ryu is the style that was formed by Miyagi children. Roughly translated, it means the school of hard and soft, and it was officially established in 1930. Goju Ryu has many similarities with Shitoryu in origin, and the founders of both styles, Miyagi Chojun and Mabuni Kenwa, were also very close friends and shared several teachers. Miyagi was born in Naha in Okinawa in 1888. Though he already started martial arts training when he was 11 years old, it was under the tutelage of the legendary Higaona Kanryu where his formation in karate truly began. Now, I know it wasn't officially called karate everywhere back then, but for convenience sake, I'll call it karate and we'll all know what I'm talking about. Now, Miyagi and Mabuni both started karate around the same time. Mabuni under Itosu in Shuri, and Miyagi under Higaona in Naha. Both men grew up to be great friends, and Miyagi later introduced his friend to his master. When he was 22, he was drafted and had to go to Japan to start his military service. He chose to become a medic, and after two years, his service was over. He could return to Okinawa to finish his training under Higaona. However, during his absence, Master Higaona suffered great poverty and his health was deteriorating as well. Miyagi, who was financially better off, decided to take his master into his home to care for him. After a few years, the master took a turn for the worse. And in 1915, Master Higaona passed away under the care of Miyagi children. Now, because he was such a great student and because he took so much care for his master, Higaona named Miyagi as his successor. Now, where Mabuni spent his karate career in made, making Shitoryu a very broad style with many kata, Miyagi spent his time in specializing his own style making it a very specific system with few similarities to other ones. This is my own opinion, but I think some of the most beautiful kata in the so-called four main karate styles come from Goju-ryu. But they are of course also a part of the Shitoryu curriculum. In the year of Master Higaona's death, Miyagi spent time in China where he studied some local Chinese martial arts. It was by blending Higaona's system with the Chinese martial arts and the typical hand movements in particular, where Miyagi's style started to really take form. Now, as I mentioned before, Goju Ryu was officially recognized by the Dai Nippon Butokukai in 1930, making it the first karate style to do so. The following years, he continued teaching his art both in Japan and in Okinawa and had some great students in the process like Yamaguchi Gogen and Oyama Mazutatsu for example. When World War II was over, Miyagi went back to Okinawa. A lot of battles were fought there and the war left so much damage Miyagi felt it his obligation to return and help rebuilding his home. He was elected in a local committee to oversee the reparations. After that, he joined his friend Mabuni in instructing local police forces in karate, which he continued to do until the end of his days. In 1953, one year after the death of Mabuni, Miyagi also passed away. Now, much can be said about this great karate master from his accomplishments as a karate practitioner to his devotion in caring for his dying master and his altruism in re rebuilding his home place now after the war. Not many karate masters did so much for their local community as well as for their art 
and for that, Miyagi can be called one of the greatest karate masters of all time. He truly was a hero. Next week, we'll be talking about the founder of Kyokushin, and maybe the strongest karate master, Oyama Mazutatsu. So, what about you guys? Who would you call a hero, and why? Leave your answer in the comments. Also, if you haven't already, share, leave a like, and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. That's it for now. Have a great day, and as always, thanks for watching.